Highland Pony can be traced back to as far as the Ice Age in Scotland. It was their original all-purpose horse. It bears an uncanny resemblance to the animals depicted 15 to 20,000 years ago on the cave walls in France. The Highland Pony and the Shetland are naturally hardy and strong, so they can handle the rugged terrain and extreme temperatures of Scotland. From the British Isles come some of the most famous pony breeds in the world. The Connemara, the Welsh, the Exmoor, and from Scotland, the Shetland and the Highland Pony, one of the oldest breeds in the region. They ran wild in the north of Scotland, but in central Scotland there is one of the most famous Highland Pony stud farms. It's very hard to think in someone else's mind what they would think of seeing your breed if they'd never seen it before and what reactions they would actually have to the Highland Pony. If they'd never seen one and they happened to see it in the winter time, they would see quite a hairy, furry creature with a very long mane, long bushy tail and feathering on the legs. So these three things are all part of what the Highland Pony requires to stand the weather. But they would find on the whole, 90 odd percent of them are very friendly animals. They're ponies with a very good temperament. They would probably find them quite wide where you put the saddle, because we actually get special saddles made for Highland ponies. They're, from the jobs that they were bred to do years ago, they're quite wide across the back and where the weather is. If you go back far enough, they, they were war horses, and they were used for quite a few of the Scottish regiments. Mary Queen of Scots, she rode a Highland Pony. And they were a dual multi-purpose vehicle, if you could call them a vehicle. As they, they, they carried the peat, they carried the deer, they were hitched to the plough, they ploughed the ground, they were hitched to a cart to transport the fodder to go out and feed the cows, and they were hitched to a gig or a trap to go to church on Sunday. <laughs> This is Scott McGregor at the Valentin Stud Farm, and as we listen to him speak about his ponies, we hear more than just words about the breed. We hear intense pride and love and the sound of a man who knows just what he was put on earth to do. Many of us feel deeply about our horses, and for this very strong Scotsman, speaking about it became very difficult. When you ask a strong man about something he feels deeply, be prepared to be very moved by his answer. Yeah, I can get very sentimental, and you'll hear it in my voice. When I, I, you'll need to stop for a minute. I get that way. With a heart this big, in a pride this deep, how can a man not be sentimental? Generations of his family have cared for this breed, and now it's his turn, and it means so much. That is what I try to do here, is keep our Highland ponies as they've always been, although we extend to get the performance out of them, but keep their characteristics as they've always had. And I think with a native breed of pony, you've got something in your hands that you have to be trusted with for the future, is to, the characteristic of the breed must remain there. Whatever other side tracks you take with it, you must keep the main characteristics of that breed. When you're around these ponies bred by this dedicated man, we see what he's made of. Commitment, integrity and purpose that goes far beyond the here and now. How could responsibility for this breed be handed to anyone better? 
we proudly salute Scott McGregor, a shining beacon of light in the horse world.